Hello my friends, welcome to my review of the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palettes. Can I just say I love this artwork? I just have to say that right off the bat. Uh, this review is going to be a very thorough review. Timestamps are down below of all the things we are going to be including in this video. I will also place them next to me so you can peruse the different sections so you know what you are most interested in. Now before we start on the, the review, I do want to go over quickly what else I'm wearing on my face because I've been getting a lot of requests for that recently. So my foundation is the Too Faced Born This Way. Way. For blush today, I'm wearing the In Stain by The Balm in Pinstripe. For the highlight, I'm wearing the, is the es Essence Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in Be My Highlight. And then for lips, I'm wearing the Absolute New York Intense Lip Polish in the shade Nude. So that is what is on my face. Let's get into what is going on with this. I have had this for, I guess, about three weeks. My friend Nancy purchased this for me. Thank, Thank you, Nancy, for buying this for me. It gave me an opportunity to review a very popular palette. This thing has been everywhere, and overall, it has been rave reviews. I do have some critiques for it, though, for you, uh, and that I'm excited to share with you. So the first thing I want to get into is where this is available, what comes in it, and value. So this palette, as you can see, is bigger than my head. It is gigantic, and the pans are also a very generous size. For comparison purposes, I just want to show you compared to the Urban Decay Naked palette how large this palette is and I'll show you inside so you can see the difference between the pan sizes there and then I'll show you the Chocolate Bonbons palette which is the same size as the other Too Faced palettes that are of this size so you can kind of see what you're getting here uh, and we are going to compare these as far as value as well. Kat Von D does have her own beauty website. This is not currently available on that website. It's only on Sephora's website and I believe it is limited edition. It has been out for a little while so if you do decide you want I do recommend you get it soon before it sells out. This is from Kat's website. It says they absolutely do not test on animals. They will always be 100% cruelty free. That's something that Kat is very proud of. Uh, it also says is Kat Von D Beauty vegan? And it says the FDA hasn't established a regulation for what it means to be vegan. We define it as a product that does not contain any animal products or byproducts and has not been tested on animals. And they have on the Kat Von D website the hashtag vegan alert to indicate the products that are vegan. Unfortunately, because this is not available on the Kat Von D website, I do not know 100% if it is vegan because even an ingredient listed can be animal derived or plant derived. You don't really know, but it was not tested on animals. So as far as whether it's vegan or not, we don't know. It is distributed from San Francisco, California, and it is made in the United States of America. I looked at this on the Sephora website to see the value. What is this? This palette a good value and I did notice that on the website it is listed incorrectly it does say that it's nine pans times 1.14 ounces which is an insane amount of product I mean if you think about like a Tarte blush that's gonna be 0.2 ounces so are they they're saying each pan is 1.4 ounces I mean that's just crazy it also said on the Sephora website the same thing 13 times 1.4 ounces which would end up being like 783 grams which is absolutely insane and there's just no way <laughs> it's not right so I looked on the box and we went by the box so we have for the shimmer shades nine times 0 0.06 ounces leading to 1.7 grams and then the same thing with the matte shades which is 13 of them at 0 0.06 ounces so these are actually the exact same amount of product in the shimmer and the matte so that ends up being 34.4 grams of product altogether it is $60 so that leads us to $1 and 60 cents per gram, which anything in the $1 range is a really good value. The only products I've ever found that have been less than $1 per gram have been the Juvia's Place palettes. Usually higher end products end up being in two, $3 range. So with Urban Decay, it's $54 and you're paying $3.19 per gram for one of the Naked palettes. For one of the Too Faced palettes, we're looking at $2.79 per gram of product at $49 full price. So you can see that the Metal Matte is definitely going to be 
be a better value than your popular high-end or I guess you call them high-end Sephora brand products. Comparing how much is in each palette, you get two and 2.2 times as much product in the metal matte as you do in the naked and 2.1 times as much product as you do in a typical Too Faced palette of this size. So definitely a fantastic value here, but is it worth your money? That's what we're gonna get into next. And the best way for me to explain that to you is to show you a demo of how I got this look today. I wanted to do something a little bit out of my comfort zone, so I went with kind of a peacocky kind of look. There's a lot of color in here. You can get a beautiful uh, neutral look if you kind of stick to this end over here, but you can also get some really great bold looks in here uh, with some a lot of color by using these. So this is a great palette, not only for people that have a lot of palettes and need something different in their lives, but it's also good for people that just want to experiment with a little color. Maybe you have a ton of neutral palettes and you just want to try a little color in your lower lash line. This is a great palette for that. So let me go ahead and show you how I got this look today. And we're gonna do that right now. You caught my eye right from the start And you stole my heart I wasn't looking for love Thought I was too cool Then I fell for you Baby girl, you on the eye. They play very, very well together. They blend effortlessly into each other without becoming muddy, which is fantastic. Uh, one thing you'll notice is the brushes that I used in the application, those are all Moda brushes, and I could not find the eyeshadow brush that I really, really like to pack on color, so I used one that was a little fluffier, but you can see it's still applied very, very well, even with that slightly fluffier eyeshadow brush. One thing I can say about these is that the performance of these compared to, let's say, the Too Faced Holiday Collections or some of the Tarte palettes that have been coming out recently that I've heard. Uh, I haven't bought a Tarte palette in quite a while, but from what I've heard, they're just not performing as good as they should. So this is one that definitely performs really, really well. I feel like other brands need to look at Kat Von D and see what she's doing and kind of go that route uh, because her shadow formula is amazing. Uh, she's had some misses in her holiday palettes in the past. Uh, I don't think it was, wasn't last year, but the year before I bought the holiday palette, and was not impressed with it. This one is really, really good as far as the quality of it. 
Here's my nitpick of it though. I do feel like the shimmer shades last longer on the eye than the matte shades. I did do some all matte looks and they faded pretty quickly. But I found that when I mix the shimmers and the mattes, the look lasts much, much, much longer. This look will still be on my eyes and very bi vibrant by the end of the day, which is amazing. I definitely cannot say that for a lot of other palettes I have purchased recently. So that's a definite win for this palette. Now, now that I've mentioned that, let's talk about why I think that may be that the mattes do not last as long as the shimmers. We're gonna go into the ingredient analysis. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you some of the ingredients, what I think about the ingredients, and also Environmental Working Group is the resource that I use in order to find ingredients that may be harmful for certain types of skin or everybody in general. So thankfully, one thing I have to say about this is that Kat Von D's formulas do not have a lot of yuck in them. Uh, they don't have a lot of red flags that pop up. Kat Von D does not list her ingredients on the website. So what I did, because I am anal retentive like that, and I don't want to miss anything, I actually typed every single one of these fine print ingredients, both on the front and the back, for all of the different formulas of every eyeshadow into my computer. It took me about an, a little over an hour to do that to make sure I didn't miss anything because it would, of course, be the one that I didn't put into the ingredient analysis system and that would be the one that has something bad in it. So I didn't want to run that risk, so I ran the whole gamut. I hand typed everything in and found out some information about these ingredients. So first of all, one thing to be aware of is that every single one of these shadows does include talc. So if you are sensitive to talc, talc is something that bothers you. You definitely do not want to purchase this palette because every shade does have it. Now, with talc, uh, it is a filler that they use for eyeshadows. It's usually one of the number one ingredients, and that is no different in this. It is one of the big ingredients. Uh, it's kind of a base for the pigments to kind of hold on to to give it more substance. So the talc is in here along with mica in every single shadow. Environmental Working Group is always updating their website, so this is their current warning about talc. Studies by the National Toxicology panel demonstrated that cosmetic grade talc free of asbestos is a form of magnesium silicate that also can be toxic toxic and carcinogenic it is restricted in cosmetics in the UK and Canada it's classified as being toxic or harmful and classified as a medium health priority by the Canadian substance list so this is something that is in a lot of products here in the United States other countries take it more seriously than we do uh, uh, but I just wanted to let you know that that is the current warning there. You can do research on talc and find a few different arguments about whether talc is harmful or not. And it also depends on what it mixes with as well. So just so you know, wanted to let you know about that. The next one is a preservative called phenoxyethanol, and that is a replacement for parabens because it is paraben free. They have to use some kind of preservative so that it, the product doesn't grow bacteria like maybe some other brands might have had bacteria. No, I'm <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. All right. So the next ingredient that is in every single shadow is an ingredient called phenoxyethanol. I think I said that phen phenoxyethanol. There you go. I got it. Phenoxyethanol is rated a four on environmental working group. It's a preservative that they use in place of parabens so that the product doesn't grow harmful bacteria. Now, this has high concerns for irritation uh, for the eyes and skin and lungs. Also, occupational hazards have been identified, so people in certain countries can only handle it so much. I've talked about this ingredient many times. It's in lots and lots and lots of products. It's restricted in use in cosmetics in in Japan and also classified as toxic or harmful for products used around the mouth in the European Union. Uh, and then the workplace exposure is also in the European Union. So just don't put these eyeshadows on your mouth. It's not a good idea. But it is interesting that it's classified as not expected to be potentially toxic or harmful by the Canada substance list. So I thought that was kind of interesting and it's not um, banned by the FDA in any way or regulated by the FDA. I looked up a couple of websites that I will link below. One of them is Truth in Aging, which I find to be a pretty good resource. It says it's one of the few preservatives that does not release formaldehyde, which is kind of cool. Um, in 2013, it came to public attention 
in the U.S. when the FDA issued a warning about its use in a cream called Mommy Bliss for nursing mothers, and the FDA warned, warned that this particular ingredient can cause shutdown of the central nervous system, vomiting, and contact dermatitis in babies. So do not let your baby suck on your eyelid, and you'll be fine. So if you've ever heard of this ingredient, that may have been where. So chances are this is probably not going to be a huge red flag to you for eyeshadow application. If you have especially sensitive skin, this could be an irritant for you, though. Um, and then Polish Choice also mentioned that it's almost always synthetic, but this chemical naturally occurs in green tea, which I thought was pretty interesting. All right, enough about that ingredient. Let's go into some of the, the dyes that are in here. One of them is yellow number five, which is seen to be bioaccumulative, which means that it builds up in your system, but we don't know how much it needs to build up in your system in order for it to be toxic. But just so you know, that's there. Also, chromium oxide greens. It is restricted for use on the lips by the FDA. So again, don't put this on your lips. There is some persistence and bioaccumulation for this as well. And then we have malic acid, which is only included in the shimmer shades, which has an irritation uh, for the skin, eyes, or lungs. So you want to be careful with getting those shimmer shades in your eye. Uh, benzoic acid is, comes up as a three. That's also only in the shimmer shades. And there's data gaps for organ to toxicity. So they just don't have enough information on that one. It's kind of mixed mishmash uh, of information. So benzoic acid may or may not be bad. We just don't know because there hasn't been enough um enough research behind it. There's two more things. Uh, aluminum powder is only in the shade Ignite uh, for neurotoxicity. It is restricted in the FD for the FDA. Aluminum powder is something you don't want a lot of on your skin. It can go into your skin and absorb into your skin, but it's, it's only in Ignite, and I'm sure that it is a very, very small amount because uh, it is just used as a pigment in Ignite. Ignite is this one right here, just so you know. And then the last thing is in the the shade Velvet, which is this one right here. And Velvet has cornstarch in it, and it also has cacao seed butter. So if you are sensitive to either one of those ingredients, you'll be fine to use this palette, except for stay away from the shade Velvet. I did learn that there are people that are sensitive to corn uh, from the community. There's someone in the community. So girlfriend, do not use the Velvet, all right? One thing I also noticed, which was really interesting, is the ingredient list for the shimmers was insanely longer than the ingredient list on the mats. There was so much more that they, they put into the shimmers. So that may be some of those ingredients that are in the shimmers and not in the mattes may have impacted the lasting power of the shadows. So I thought that was really, really interesting. But overall, I mean, nothing that just sounds crazy. Um, there's people that are really sensitive to parabens. There's no parabens in here. Um, and again, it is cruelty free. So that's a really good thing for those of you that pay a lot of, some people are really, really die hard about their cruelty free products. And this is a cruelty free product. Before I go into my final thoughts, I do want to show you some swatches of these products. So the swatches are going to be both with a brush and with a finger, so you can see how they may apply if you choose to tap them on with your finger. Like for example, the shade Tinsel definitely can go better with a fingertip because it's kind of chunky. It's the only one in here that is chunky. You're gonna see that really they apply very, very well with a brush and the formula is very consistent in that. So check it out. I won't lie to you I know he's just not right for you And you can tell me if I'm off But I see it on your face When you say that he's the one that you love And you're spending all your time In this wrong situation Anytime you want it to stop I know I can treat you better Than he can And any girl like you Can you say you like me too? I just wanna give you the love that you're missing, baby. Just to sit next to you would be everything I need, and this could be so different. Tell me what you want to do. Cause I know I can treat you better than he can, and any girl like you deserves a gentleman. Tell me why.
like you deserves a gentleman Tell me why are we wasting time on all your wasted crime But you should be with me instead I know I can treat you on this palette is that I absolutely love it. I do wish that the matte shades lasted a little longer and that's my only critique. But again, like I said, when you mix them with the shimmers, you're fine. But if you're getting this because you're loving the matte shades and you mostly do matte looks, like if you um, have a lot of texture on your lids and you don't want to use a lot of shimmer, you probably want to skip this palette. But overall, it's definitely a recommend. I mean, values there, the, the lasting power with the shimmers is there. You get a ton of product this will last you and so you can pass it on to your great-grandchildren. I mean, this thing's gonna last you a really long time. Uh, it's just a really good, solid palette. I do love the mirror as well. It is a cardboard packaging with a magnetic closure. The magnet is very strong, so you could take this in travel and not worry too much about it, in, it opening up. To be safe, you might wanna keep the box if you're planning on bringing this for travel, but it is ginormous, so you it may not be travel-friendly for you just because of the utter size of it is kind of insane. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's huge, it's huge. But over Overall, definitely a recommend for me. I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna love it, I'm gonna use it, and I'm happy to have it. So I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, definitely make sure you give me a thumbs up because it makes me look super cool. Hit that subscribe button, and if you don't wanna miss any of my videos, there's a little bell over by the subscribe button. If you click that, you will be notified every time I make a video so that you don't miss one. So again, I wanna thank you so very much for watching. Mad love, and I will see you soon.